Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about ECR registries on AWS. What are those? Pros and cons? How to create it with Terraform? But first, if this is your first time in this channel, I'll invite you to take a look at the channel's playlist where you will find a lot of free tutorials like uh, AWS, Docker, Jenkins, Ansible, Terraform, SonarCube, Security, and more. Okay, what is an ECR registry? First, let me tell you about ECR. ECR means Elastic Container Registry. And a registry is like a repository for Docker images. Then, if you use this service on AWS, you will be able to save all of your Docker images in it. One of the advantages for this service is that it is fully integrated with all AWS services, it's nat native. And this is how it looks the console. Here you will find your private repositories or private, private registries, public registries, and here you will be able to see all of your um, registries where you will be saving all your Docker images. When you do the Docker pull or Docker uh, push, you will be interacting with this registry. Okay, let's take a look about the Terraform part. Here I have all my, my TF definition files for Terraform. Let's take a look on the providers one. Here we have, I have a, a, a block code for Terraform where I'm specifying the Terraform version that I will need and also the modules, in this case only for AWS. And here in the providers block I can specify the region and also I can specify the keys, the access key and the secret key. But, but as you know, this is not a best practice. You will not uh, it is not recommended to put all the credentials in a plain text. It is better to configure in the credentials file or in another uh, Vault application like HashiCorp Vault or KMS or any other security tool that you that you use. Okay, let's take a look on the main main.tf. Here is where I'm specifying a resource. This is the resource block. I'm using this module, AWS ECR repository, and this is the block name. And here, as a first uh, parameter, we have the repository name. This, this will be my, my registry's name in AWS. Also, we have more options like the mutability or the image scanning configuration. This is very useful because AWS offers uh, the, the ability, the capability for scanning of Docker images. When, when we do a Docker push, if this, if this option is enabled, is true, then when we do a Docker pull, then automatically that image will be scanned looking for vulnerabilities and it will be displayed if there is a, an error or there is a critical or, or high vulnerabilities for, for the image. It will scan either for the operating system and also for the application that resides on it. This block obviously is the, the tax, the tax for the, for the resource in the, in the cloud. Um, as you probably saw in the other videos that I published, I recommend strongly to use tags because it is very useful to manage our cloud resources by using tags. We can filter for them, we can organize uh, across environments. It's very useful and is, it is one of the best practices that AWS recommends. Okay, let's finally take a look on the outputs. We have this output called ECR URL. This is the output name. We have a description and the actual method that we, we will be calling for. This is composed for three parts. The first part is the, the module that we are using in the main.tf in the resource block. The second part is the block name. 
and the final part is the actual information that we need in this case we need the repository URL ok then let's take a look on how it looks when it runs let's run terraform init to download all the dependencies and initializing the backend ok completed then let's run a terraform apply with the auto approve option Okay, it's, uh, it just completed and here you can see one resource was added and this is the output that I just shown in the configuration file. This is the uh, registry URL where you will be putting all your docker images or pushing uh, pulling from, from it. If I go back to the console and hit refresh here is the new repository that was just created a few seconds ago and this is this uh, this URL is the same that Terraform returns with the output this one okay now you know how to interact with AWS ECR by using Terraform how to create a new registry using Terraform I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and let me know your comments, thanks.